Hey guys, I'm coming on to start another vlog. Um, there's this book that I started like a year or more ago and I just wanted to um, finish reading it or at least read a little bit more of it. So I picked it back up. I think I got it from Thrift Book. But here it is. The End of Mental Illness by Daniel G. Amen. So that's the book, and today I'm just feeling weird, guys. I don't know what's going on with it. I've taken like two naps today, uh, three actually. Two of them I didn't actually fall asleep. I was just laying there, and then earlier when Manasseh took a nap, I took a nap, and I don't know what's going on with me. Um, it was just today, so maybe I should just be like, hey. Tomorrow I'm going to have a better day. But I'm going to get into this book. Because I was watching um, a podcast on YouTube with him in it, Daniel Amen. And his psychiatry is based on brain scans. So it's different than just saying, hey, you're having these symptoms. Let me give you such and such for medication. Let me give you these pills because you're having these symptoms. And if your brain is sick, then your doctor should have a look at your brain, right? So, yeah. Um, like, just as with any other area of medicine, but ment uh, with mental problems, it's not like that. But, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, good morning. It's Wednesday and... I love Jesus, right? We love Jesus. Um, hold on, baby. So... Um, Manasseh already ate. My husband fed him. Um, he had his teeth brushed. I brushed my teeth. I prayed. Um, I had my coffee. Did my morning devotion. Now I'm going to eat breakfast and the only thing that I can really eat is, sit down baby, sit down, is oatmeal. And I think it's, it's the brown sugar kind because we don't have any bread and we don't have any milk in the house and we don't have any bananas. Yeah. And the blender like, is dirty. I like to watch Paw Patrol as a late toy. Yeah, he's watching Paw Patrol right now. But like, like my one of my I could have had eggs for breakfast, but I didn't, really didn't feel like making eggs, so I just I'm having oatmeal, and that's it. I'm waiting for my computer to charge so I can. Um, after I eat, I'm going to take my vitamins and whatever, but I might show you guys my vitamins. I just wanted to show you guys Manasseh. He's, um, eating some dry cereal <laughs> and, um, playing with these letters. He keeps on asking me what the letters are. And I'm like, I tell him sometimes and sometimes I'm like, you tell me. <laughs> and he knows most of them, but yeah. This oatmeal is actually pretty good. It wasn't my first choice, but it's my breakfast and I'm enjoying it the best I can. I really need to go to the store. He wanted some of my oatmeal too, so I let him have some. He just took the bowl. <laughs> Here, mommy's not done, but you can have some. Is it yum? Yeah. Hey, so I'm just going to show you the vitamins that I take All right now. They change from time to time, but I've been taking these for almost two months. They're about gone. This is um, my multivitamin, the Alive Women's Ultra Potency Complete Multivitamin. And I just have a crystal light here to take them with. So I'm going to take that. A multivitamin. And I've got my Nature's Bounty fish oil. I take one of those every day.
then I take biotin and this says to put it under your tongue it's the liquid bi biotin and leave it there for 30 seconds before swallowing it but I don't do that I never tasted it by itself I just don't trust it I think it would be way too disgusting it could be tasteless but I don't know so I just put it in my crystallite and then vitamin B12 the up and up target brand and vitamin D3 my nature wise got that off of Amazon been taking this for forever I try to always make sure I'm taking vitamin D even in the summer Those are my morning vitamins. I'll drink this over the next half hour or so just to make sure that I have enough liquids in me. I drink about three bottles of water a day. The one in the, if I don't have juice with my vitamins, <clears throat> then I'll have, no baby. Then I'll have um a water. If I have juice with my vitamins, then I'll have a water a bottle of plain water afterward and then around middle day I'll have another bottle of water and then at night when I take my medicine I'll have more water staying hydrated is so important and by the way I bought I on Instagram I don't know if you, any of you guys have seen this ad but it's a Stanley cup for six dollars and ninety cents a 40 ounce tumbler and the shipping was $10, but I didn't care. So I paid like $16 for a Stanley Cup. We'll see if it's a ghetto one, a uh, fake one once it comes. What, baby? A rainbow thing. A rainbow thing? I don't see, baby. Oh, I see. Yeah, he's talking about a rainbow. It's a, you know, one of those rainbow projector things that projects the lights onto the house. It's up there, and I'm not getting it down for him. But I'll show you guys that Stanley Cup once it comes. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about it because I've been wanting the Stanley Cup for a while. But on Amazon, it's like between $60 and $70. I didn't check elsewhere, but I'm like, forget it. I can just get a, a cheap cup, like $20 cup. And now I'm getting a Stanley Cup for under $20. Bucks. Hey guys, so I'm dressed. Um, I got my Bible out and I just need to spend some time in the Word. Um, so, I don't know what I'm going to read yet, but I'm just going to, let me put you there. Okay, that works. Um, I'm just opening my Bible up and flipping through it. Wow, that's profound. So, sometimes this happens, sometimes I flip for a while, but uh, I think I'm going to read Isaiah 66. I guess I'll read the whole chapter. Wow. And then I'll flip to another, probably something in the New Testament. I love Philippians. I know I said I was going to read Romans again, but I'm not ready to like write down and highlight the verses. So I'm just flipping. I took my glasses off because my face is slippery from the moisturizer. This is what the Lord says. Heaven is my throne. And the earth is my footstool. Could you build me a temple as good as that? Could you build me such a resting place? My hands have made both heaven and earth. They and everything in them are mine. I, the Lord, have spoken. Wow. I will bless those who have humble and contrite hearts who tremble at my word. But those who choose their own ways, delighting in their detestable sins, will not have their offerings accepted. When such people sacrifice a bull... Hi, baby. Oh, that's a lot of lucky charms, babe. I don't know if you should have all those. Wow. Okay, no more, okay? I need you to sit down. I don't want you going back in there and getting lucky charms. 
I gotta go put them away so he can't reach them anymore. Sit down. Thank you. Um, where was I? But those who choose their own ways, delighting in their detestable sins, will not have their offerings accepted. When such people sacrifice a bull, it is no more acceptable than a human sacrifice. When they sacrifice a lamb, it's as though they had sacrificed a dog. When they bring an offering of grain, they might as well offer the blood of a pig. When they burn it at frankincense, it's as if they had blessed an idol. I will send them great trouble, all the things they feared. For when I called, they did not answer. When I spoke, they did not listen. They deliberately sinned before my very eyes and chose to do what they know I despise. Wow. Is this still Paw Patrol, Vanessa? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, I had to come on and vlog this salad because it is really amazing looking i have not eaten it yet but look at who has one just like me and is eating it he obviously doesn't want to be vlogged but i had to show somebody eating their salad but i was just <laughs> coming on to show you my amazing salad um we're outside chilling it's beautiful it's in the 50s but it's really sunny and manasseh is over there playing in the dirt so he's gonna be really dirty, which I don't care as long as he's occupied and he's having fun. Manasseh said, Can you go skateboarding? He has a little skateboard, somebody that stayed with us for a little bit left here. I mean, I know he don't know how to do it right, but he be trying. <laughs> these, all these dandelions are popping up over the place, and now our, um, lawn is actually green so spring is actually here and i want to plant some flowers this summer i am the least person ever to have a green thumb or be called someone who has a green thumb but i really want some flowers in my yard look at these guys aren't those cute look at them look at them so yeah just eating the salad Hey y'all, we're in Dollar Tree. I'll be forgetting the vlog when I'm out in public, so I just wanted to show you guys around the store a little bit while we're here. And I wasn't even recording. Hey you guys, I am in Dollar Tree. Oh yeah, some cute stuff. Um, and I just wanted to record a little bit because I know I'll be forgetting the vlog when I'm out in public. So I've been drinking these ghost energy drinks for a little bit now. But they don't have them at Dollar Tree, and I didn't feel like going over to Walmart, even though it's right there. So I picked up this um, pineapple, orange, mango, Mountain Dew Kickstart. Because I stopped eating, uh, drinking energy drinks for a while. And then I just seen somebody talking about them, a new kind. And I was like, let me try those. I used to get these facial wipes all the time. Now I just use baby wipes. <laughs> I like the Bolero ones. Yeah, this is Bolero. Bolero and this new, um, let me vlog those. Where'd they go? Oh yeah, um, I talked about these, um, scalp scrubs that I saw in a previous video and I just posted on Instagram about them. I picked up five of, the, five of these the other day, so I'm not going to get any more right now. But I hope that they have them in stock for a while. They've got like four or five left. I should just get them. And then they've got this. This looks really good, but I already have a facial moisturizer, so I don't need it. But um, this Renew facial moisturizer um, from Bolero. It looks okay. Don't look bad. They've got a cleanser, too. I already have a cleanser too, but maybe next time I need those things, I'll remember to come here to get them. Um, Manasseh, can you pick that up, please? Your hands are full. Mommy, get it. Well, you already bent down. What a sweet boy. That's Thank you, babe. So cute. These lip balms. Look at these. Look oh, and I was looking at um some. Look at these. I was looking at some. Uh, 
clear glosses. Let me go look, show you in the, oh my goodness. I love Bolero. Where'd they go? Okay. Okay, so before the glosses, you guys, you know how like at Target they have those goalie vitamins for the, like $20? Look, the Super Greens ones, and they've got the Energy ones, and then they've got the Calm ones. And actually, uh, a few weeks ago, I got the multivitamin ones, um, just one of them, and I have those at home. And as soon as my multivitamin is done, which I have like two days left, I'm going to use that one. And my husband took one. He said they taste like chocolate. But I'm looking for those glosses I saw. They've got these, this two-pack. I love a clear gloss, which I don't wear makeup anymore. So that's all I'll wear. But I really... I'm getting this. The glosses and lip balms that I be getting from the Dollar Tree are like seriously the truth. Some of the best lip balms I've used. One time I went, I got a, when I was working at Target, I got a um, Vaseline rosy tinted lip balm. And it was three something. It was crap. It was not moisturizing at all. It left my lips flaky. So for glosses and balms, the Dollar Tree is the way to go. Dollar 25. Hey y'all, it's almost 10 o'clock on Friday and I am still waking up. I got up like 6.30 and I still am not fully awake. Um, I'm having my second coffee because I'm so over. I'm like, why can't I wake up? Um, Re uh, not Reese. Manasseh is watching Veggie Tales and I'm just drinking an iced coffee and cleaning up my emails on my phone. I stayed up till 12 last night and then my husband came home in the middle of the night. He does that a lot nowadays and um, I'm not sure what that is. It must be something that didn't fit me. Um, uh, I spent some time with him in the middle of the night and then he went back to work and I guess that's why I'm tired because I stayed up and then I got up in the middle of the night. But so I put pumpkin oil, pumpkin seed oil in my hair last night. I've only used it a couple times, but I wanted to try it out because I heard people saying good things about it. I put some in my hair a couple times as like uh, just to oil my hair and I also put in a deep conditioner um, earlier this week. Um, and I need to wash my hair again this weekend. And I was going to use a bentonite clay, but I can't find it. I think my stepdaughter might have taken it out of my bathroom, so I got to ask her. But about the pumpkin seed oil, it stayed in my pillow. And I didn't even think about that. Like, I should have thought about that because it's like dark brown. Um, but I looked at my pillow this morning and I'm like, what is that brown stuff? And I was like, oh, the oil. But we'll see how this day's, day goes. I got to make some ebooks, work with my, work on my website. Um, that's about all. Just got to get some work done. But, um, I started Leviticus today because it's a couple days ago. My husband had a Bible study with the kids. I, I, you know, with the family, with the, but he directs it toward the kids because, you know, they need understanding. But he went into Leviticus, and I think he did chapter 20 or chapter 22. But I was like, let me le read Leviticus again. So I read, like, three chapters this morning about the sacrifices. And I'm like, we ain't supposed to be eating animal fat. I know we weren't supposed to eat animal blood, but I guess we're not supposed to be eating animal fat. And I love animal fat. But, um... You know, I just have I've been praying. And after I read Romans, I'm like, you know, what? I need to be accepting the Lord's grace and not be so sin conscious. I believe that, yes, we're supposed to be grieving. We're supposed to grieve over our sins and repent of our sins. But I don't think we should be focusing on our sins so much. We should be um, grateful for and thankful for and focusing on Jesus in the cross so i guess i have a lot of thoughts this morning 
that I wanted to share with y'all. Oh yeah, I had a really good breakfast too. Um, I made scrambled eggs with cheese and avocado and toast with jelly. <laughs> and of course I didn't vlog that. I should have vlogged it. What's wrong with me? But me and my husband ate that. Meek had made... Manasseh, a Nutella sandwich, and I gave him his eggs, but I don't think he ate them. Um, and then he had a go-go squeeze. Okay, guys, it's Saturday, and I am enjoying myself. <laughs> um, I wanted some cookies, but we didn't have anything in the house, and I was like, what about donuts? So I was looking on Amazon and seeing any butt uh, that I was looking for. It's okay, Reese. So I decided to make some cookies, and I'm making some chocolate chip cookies. I'll show you them. I probably would have filmed me making them, but the kitchen is a mess. Reese is over there doing the dishes right now. He's helping me out. He's going to wash some of them, and I'm going to wash the rest. Right, Reese? Okay, thank you. Unique is um, cleaning the bathroom. Manasseh is in the, uh, the living room on the potty, watching the shows. Heaven's cleaning her bedroom. But these are the first batch of cookies, guys. I used ghee instead of butter, because that's what we had. A friend of ours in the ministry gave us some ghee, so I decided to try it out. Um, Google says that cookies. Google says that cookies should be okay baked with ghee instead of butter. Um, so I'm gonna try them out. I'll be the judge of that, and let's just have a good day. Like, come on, why we all be so uptight? And I'm talking to myself, cause. When I see all this stuff that needs to get done, I get weird. Like, I showed you guys last week that um, I made tour charts for the kids, and I didn't write another one for this week. Maybe I'll do that on Monday. But they did not keep up with their chores, like, at all. But I shouldn't be so hard on them because it was only the first week, and they have to get used to the routine just as I do. So, we'll try again. So let's try one of these cookies. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's definitely good. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, a little, bo a little bit more about my Saturday. It's, um, what time is it? It's almost 3 o'clock. And I'm having an iced coffee. Manessa went and got this out of my closet. It's so cute. I didn't even know it was in there. Or maybe my husband had told me a while back. But I forgot why he got it. But it's just been sitting in a closet. So I'm taking it. It's mad cute. It's going to be my cuddle bear. Which is not a bear. It's a dog. But that's mine for now. from now on. <laughs> I'm not sure what he was intended to do with that. Um, the reason why he went in the closet... Um, Looking for candy? Uh, I guess. I think he wants to find my tablet. Oh, he was looking for your tablet? Yeah. <clears throat> They're watching Bible Man, guys. Yeah. I'm just chilling. I'm watching this new YouTuber. Well, she's not new. She has over 200,000 subscribers. But her name is Felicia, and I'm watching her. And I also got into a book. I think I, did I start last night or the night before. I started the night before, The Winter Garden, Winter Garden, by, not The Winter Garden, I think it's just Winter Garden, by Kristen Hanna. I'm in love with Kristen Hanna's books. This is one of their favorite Christian shows. Strawberries okay. and cream, but that's diet. So we're here, and then Dollar General. With um, Amy, and we are vlogging. And um, right now we're looking at Dr. Pepper's. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, we have Reese. Strawberries and cream, uh, Dr. Pepper, but it's zero sugar, so I don't want it. It does sound good, though. Okay. So, Dad is all the way over there with the kiddos. <laughs> I don't know where we're going, so we're just going to follow. But today is, um, let me see, Saturday, April the 29th. Yep. Uh huh. And um, I don't know. She she been looking for these books in the front. 
Yeah, because I saw these before and I didn't get one, but I've been wanting a physical book because I've been reading so many books on Kindle. I just want to turn some pages, you know? Right, right, right. Mm. I want to get this Nora Roberts book, but it's sort of like a magic book, so I'm not getting that. Mm. I don't know. I don't really, have, I don't really read books like that. I'm trying to go over there. What's this? Mm, mm, mm. My dark Vanessa? That don't sound right. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So we're going to take a break until she finds a book. All right, that so one's about a family. Which one? That one I just picked out. Mm -hmm. It's about like a marriage and a family. Okay, this might be good. Not a book. Alright, okay. What's about? What's about? Hollywood 1938. As soon as she learns that MGM is adapting her late husband's masterpiece for the screen, 77 year old Maud Gage Baum says about trying to finagle her way onto the set. <laughs> well, guys, well, she looks for a book. I got these baskets. This one's really nice. I like that magic. Yep. Mm -hmm. No, I'm here. I think this is Easter stuff or something. The kiddos are over there. I don't know what they're looking for, but, um. Why did we come here in the first place? I had to thing? get laundry detergent, and I oh, didn't okay. want to go alone. So we all went. The whole family. Yep. Clean beauty? What? Okay, so we're going up to the kiddos. I see some kiddos over here. Vanessa, what you got? Yeah. A flower. Okay. Alright, whatever that is. What you got? A pen? This. Lame. Uh, like, that's what I said. Yeah, what you, what you picking out? Hmm? Hmm? I ain't getting nothing, but I like to dream big. <laughs> 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 Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Means what you got? Nothing. Wait, what do you We can get any. No, I don't know. I have no clue. We're walking around with Daddy. Yep. Don't follow me, man. I'm a watcher. I'm one of the windows watchers. I go in the stores because I can't afford stuff. All and right. I do, I just go. No. Put it back. What I'm trying to tell everyone is this, man. Listen, this is not my vlog. It belongs to wifey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, no. <laughs> no shoes, right? So we have this joke because Heaven took out all my laces and my shoes. Not all of them. Yes, you did, because yeah, I cannot find did. exactly. No. This is lazy. L lay pillow. I know, right? <laughs> Come on, man. They twenty dollars for lay pillow. And that's not the lay pillow. If you don't get someone that you love, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Put it back. Man, you know, all you gotta go on is Christian Mingle. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. oh, 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 we have to find something like one dollar. Right. I thought. They have the pen. Let me see these in offices. They need so much. Free deal. <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're alone with Manasseh and uh, Reese. And so I'm just looking at the hair products. I know I'm not going to get anything, but man, I really love hair products. A lot. Mm-hmm. So we're just looking. I don't know where this little boy's going. Um, yeah, man. Not even gonna lie. Excuse me, Reese. Yep. Uh, all right. Okay, guys, so this is what's in our cart right now. Neek was vlogging, but I didn't like it. So look what we found. These shots. You know them shots they be selling? The tiny ones? This is over eight ounces, and it's a dollar. So we're trying them out. It's like good ingredients too. We'll try out to see how we like them. I don't see why they wouldn't be good. Look, vitamin C, 
EB1 vitamin of oh, GMO, no added preservatives, 100% juice. So that's what we got. We actually came here for the laundry detergent, but you know you can't go take the whole family to Family Dollar and just get one thing that you need. So, Heaven, what'd you get? Um, uh, nothing yet. What? You better hurry up. We're about to check out. You're gonna be complaining. Ooh, Chester's fry. Hey guys, so I'm ending the vlog out right here. I have a um a pre poo in my hair. That's why I have this scarf on. But anyway, thank you for watching this vlog. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.